What is up, everybody? The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the top stories on VGN. So, if you don't PC game, you still probably kind of get the concept, I would imagine. The more money you spend and invest in different products, whether it be a GPU or a CPU, etc., the better system you're going to have. So, it's going to be more capable of doing extraordinary things at an incredible speed. So, even if you are on a low budget, you can still get a decent computer these days. You can go, you know, into the thousands of dollars. So, you, you could spend a couple of thousand dollars and get a really good computer. You could spend $10,000 and get an incredible machine. But what do you think you could build if you had a million dollars to build a computer? Or how about a billion dollars? Because that's exactly what IBM is investing into its new Watson supercomputer division. They are putting in $1 billion to build a Watson computer built on the cloud. Now, you may have heard of Watson before. Watson was a supercomputer that competed on the game show Jeopardy. If you haven't ever heard of Jeopardy, it's a U.S. game show it's a quiz where the contestants are given basically the answer and the contestants have to give the question uh, for that answer. Uh, and it's a little different than what you're used to, but it requires a unique way of thinking. And usually, really intelligent people are good at this game show. Well, back in 2011, they had some of the best contestants they've ever had on the show come back on to compete against Watson which is a supercomputer, which you could uh, therefore play the game with and they would generate, you know, the correct response. And it turned out that Watson beat the most intelligent people who have ever been on the game show Jeopardy. And Watson just isn't a supercomputer that is built like on the technology that we're used to today. So normally, if you have a computer program, you have to program out, you know, if the user types in this, then this is the response. The way Watson works is it's actually based off the way the human mind works. They have totally reconfigured this, and the computer actually knows and learns from its past mistakes. So if it does make a mistake, then it takes that in consideration into the future whenever it is asked to do a similar problem. So the computer is actually learning. And so this is definitely the frontier as far as computers are concerned. And of course, this is the thing that has been talked about for a, a long time in, in science fiction. And it's, it's here. People are building quantum computers. People are building computers that the, the goal is to have them learn. And so this is going to have profound effects, of course. And even for IBM, they think that this could be something that could be very useful to the average person. Uh, they say what, what's going to happen is this is built on the cloud, so developers are going to have access to the information. It can process information faster than the human brain. And uh, th they say that you're going to have apps come out that are personalized. So they say that you could have an app, for instance, where you go to the, the supermarket and you could, I guess, scan an object or uh, put in something and it'll tell you exactly where you can go in town to get that for the cheapest price. So it can take in an incredible amount of information at one time. And they say that it's also built to be able to be uh, talked to in a natural sense. So you could naturally talk to this kind of like a Siri deal. And you know, th this, this is totally science fiction about to play out in the very near future where uh, it has all sorts of you know, implications. Uh, good things could definitely come from this. We could learn a lot of things from a computer that, you know, is more intelligent than most people. But, of course, there's a ton of bad things that can also happen as well. We've all seen the Terminator films. We've all heard of Skynet and what happens when the computer becomes self-aware of itself and uh, understands how bad some people really are. So, this is the future. Grab your popcorn, hold on tight, stay tuned right here to this channel. Post below, let me know. 
Are you excited about Watson, the supercomputer? W would you like to have access to a computer that you can just ask it, you know, uh, an incredible amount of things and it can elicit back a response or even possibly come up with new ideas that we haven't discovered yet? Are we reaching the point of singularity? That does for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.